Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to make your Google self portrait. It's a fairly easy process. There are a lot of tools that you have to use and there are some things that you might have to rewind um, and try looking at again. So I'm basically going to make mine and walk you guys through it. So the first thing you want to do is you need a picture of yourself. So most likely for a lot of you, you're going to do image and by camera. You want to make sure that you're in a spot with good lighting and a pretty simple background, just so you're not confused by being able to see the different sides of your face and the different parts of your face. So you want to get all fancied up and then you want to take your picture. Um, I will say that taking your picture with your mouth closed is the easiest, but there are ways that you can do teeth. It just gets a little bit more complicated. So you're going to look at your camera, you're going to smile, and it'll give you three different options. So I can try that. I can smile with my mouth closed, or I can just do a silly face, but I won't use that one. So I'm going to choose the one with my teeth just because I prefer that one. So I'm going to say insert that one and it is there. Then I'm going to click and drag it up into the corner and I'm going to use that blue box and I'm going to make it to the size. Once you hit the edge, those two blue lines pop up and there's my image. Now this is what I'm going to use to draw off of. And then I'm going to use the biggest tool you're going to use is this polyline. So what polyline does is as you click, you're going to create your line. And then if you click again, you can change the direction of your line. So I could make funky shapes like that. So this is what I'm going to use for a lot of the other things that I've got going on. So like my face. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick the top, you're going to click and you're going to move. And then you're going to click again when you need to start turning around. And then you're going to click and click and click and click and click. And you're going to keep going until you get back to the place where you started. So there's your face. Now here's the problem. I can't see my eyes, so I wouldn't be able to do my eyes right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going, this is another thing that you're going to need to know, the select tool. Right now, if I click on anything, it's going to start another polyline. So I'm going to click that select tool and this paint bucket fills things in and I'm going to make it transparent, which means you can see through it. So now I can zoom in on the different parts and I can see my face and build my face. So now we're going to end up using the zoom tool. So when you use the zoom tool, you want to click on the area you want to zoom into. So if I want to zoom into my eyes, I'm not going to click over here because that's going to zoom into the welcome sign. And uh-oh, now I'm stuck. If I keep clicking, it's going to keep zooming in. So you're going to go up and you're going to say zoom to fit and it'll reset. The zoom tool is still suggested. So I am going to zoom in on my eye because our eyes are next. Again, you're going to select polyline and you're going to go around your eye. Click and move, click and move. Remember, it's click and let go. It's not click and drag. So I'm going to click and let go, move, click and let go, move, click and let go, move until I get back to the beginning. There's my eye. Now, our eyes are not filled in with blue. So we've got to go into the fill and make them white. And then we have to make the iris and the pupil. So I'm going to go into shapes and I'm going to go into a circle and I'm going to click and drag to create the circle for my iris. Then I'm going to take another one. Oops. Nope. Not going to do that. My eyes are kind of blue. So we're going to do there. And then I'm going to create another, go into shapes, go down to the circle. And I'm going to create another circle right in the center. And I'm going to click and drag it to the center where those two red lines show up. And I'm going to fill it with black for my pupil. See you in the next video.
Welcome back to your Google Self-Portrait tutorial. So we left off last time with moving this pupil right to the center so that you've got your eye. Now the last thing you can do with your eyes before we move on is you can make lines and you can make your eyelashes if you would like. And you just make little lines, click and drag, click and drag to make your eyelashes. I would normally go a lot slower and make these actually, be careful that you don't go, go from the circle. So move until those don't show up. Cause I do not want this to awkwardly start from right there. I'm gonna delete, which is just pressing the backspace button when you have something selected. Quick note, control Z is going to be your best friend. If you make a mistake, you can delete it or you can press control Z to undo. I know a lot of you already know that. So there's your eye. Uh, I'm gonna pause while I do the other eye and then I will come back to you when I have finished my other eye. I'll be back, right back. All right, hi folks, I'm back. I finished the other eye and I'm gonna go back to zoom to fit to check it out. Yes, it's going to look very, very weird at this moment. Yeah, it looks funky. So now we need to do our eyebrows. So you are going to do the same thing. You are gonna select the zoom tool, you're gonna zoom in on those brows, and you're going to use polyline and go around. You can go as slow or fast as you want. I'm gonna go pretty quick, so mine might look a little funky by the end, but there you go. This is the time where you're going to have to choose what color your hair is. Now, if you have brown hair, you don't have a lot of options. You've got kind of this red one, you've got this lighter brown one. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add a custom color. So this is the point where you can start picking what kind of color brown you have. If you have a darker brown hair, if you have a lighter brown hair, I'm gonna get as close as I can to my hair color. That's a little light for mine, but we'll leave it for then. I'll be right back after I finish my other eyebrow. Hey guys, I'm back. So, yeah, eyebrows look kind of funky. I'm moving quick so I can show you guys. Now, what is next is my nose. So I'm gonna give you a little preview. If I fill in my face with the color I'm going to make my face, you can see my eyes and my eyebrows. So next up is our nose. So you are going to polyline your nose and you're gonna go kind of around your nose. You can kind of do however you want. I would normally be zoomed in. Now, if this happens, that means you clicked too close to your last one and you have messed up. So this is why you want to be zoomed in on whatever you're working with. So I'm just going to press the backspace or delete button on that one. And I'm gonna zoom in to my nose here and make it easier to work with. Again, you guys can get as precise as you want with this. I'm being very general right now because this is just a tutorial. If I were making one for myself, I would be super, super picky about where things were and all of that. Now I want to end this without putting a line across. So all I'm gonna do is do what we did with the mistake earlier and I'm going to click right where I just clicked and that will end the line so that you still have something there. Now to fill it up with the color that you're gonna make your face, you just fill it up and it'll be right there. Now, you might ask, but what if it doesn't match my face? Don't worry, whoops, I did not need to make a line there. That's why you wanna have the select tool selected, by the way. I'm gonna click my face, I'm gonna fill it in with that same color, and look, my nose blends right in. All right, next up, we have our mouth. There's a couple of options about how to make your mouth. And what we're going to do is I'll start with the first one. If you have your mouth closed, it's pretty easy actually. So I'm gonna first show you that. I'm gonna pretend my mouth is closed and uh, I'll be right back in the next video. Hey guys, I'm back again. So this time we are moving on to our lips and our mouth. So we're going to select our zoom tool. We're gonna zoom in. I'm first gonna act as though my mouth was closed so that you guys can see that and then I'll do it with my actual teeth. So if my mouth were closed, let me figure out how I'm gonna do this. 
I am going to basically go around my mouth, go all the way around my lips. And with a lot of this, it gets blurry, so you kind of have to approximate where things are. Yeah, that's a scary mouth if I zoomed out right now. And I'm going to fill it in with whatever nice lips color I've got. But then you need your smile. So I'm going to make it transparent, and you're going to have a line going across where your two lips are. So then what I would do is I would polyline that line. And I'm going to end it right here. And then I'm going to select the Select tool and fill these in with that. Looks kind of like a banana. But I don't have that smile to be able to do that. So I'm going to delete these for now because that is not the smile that I have. But that is a closed lip smile. An open lip smile, what you're going to do is you're going to basically need to create all the different parts. I don't think I did that last one. That's okay. So there's my top lip. And then remember, you want your bottom lip to match up to your top lip. I'm going to click and click and click and click and click and click. There you go. Now, those are going to get filled in with whatever color you are making your lips. Now you want to do your teeth and you want to do the inside of your mouth. So I make it kind of general because this ends up zoomed out and you're seeing it from mostly pretty far away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to polyline that same line on the inside of my lips. You want to get as close as possible. Again, I'm doing this pretty quick because this is just a tutorial. If I were actually doing this, this all would be super, super precise because I get picky when it comes to stuff like this. And I'm going to fill it in with black. I know that looks weird for now, but don't worry. And I'm going to make it transparent for now. And now I'm going to do my teeth. So if you want to get really specific with your teeth, you can and go each individual tooth. But I just kind of go around my teeth, kind of like what I think they might look like. Do the best I can. Because again, this is being seen from generally pretty far away. So they're not going to look and see that each individual tooth is straight and perfect and beautiful. And I'm going to fill that in with white. And then I'm going to go back, select tool. I'm going to go back to this shape and fill this in with black. So then when I zoom out, you could put little lines to separate out your teeth. That's fine. And when I zoom to fit, I've generally got a smile. Now, again, I would normally be more specific with this, but this is what we got. All right. Now we are going to get to move on to our hair. Those of you who wear glasses and who are wearing glasses in your picture, I will create a separate video for you guys where I'm wearing my glasses uh, so I can show you guys how to use how to do your glasses. But for now, we're going to fill in. I, I Eventually, I will make an actual skin color that's closer to my skin color, but we're going to use that for now. And I'm done with my face. Hey, hey, welcome back. We're going to look at how to make our hair. So... We're gonna polyline it. Now here's the thing. You want to polyline, you want your hair to be attached to your face. So what you're gonna start by doing is going along your face. You can zoom in and do that. I can't, I've got curls, so my hair gets a little weird. So for now, I'm actually just going to do the size that my hair is generally. I've kind of got these little curls here. Yeah, I've got frizzy hair everywhere, but I'm just going to leave that. My hair parts about right here. So that is one section of my hair. If your hair doesn't part, you can just keep going all the way around. But that's where I'm going to leave that one. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'll be right back when I do that. Remember to go along your face and then along your hair and then end it right at the end. I'll be right back. 
All right, welcome back. I have finished my hair. Now, if I don't like this little piece right here that kind of juts in and I just want my hair to be all full and beautiful, I can click this and double click and then it'll show me all the places that I clicked on. And I can actually move and drag this one out so that I can make some adjustments to how I really want things. So we're just gonna leave it there for now. Then, same thing as eyebrows, I'll fill it in with that custom color. I'll fill that in. Actually, that custom color did not turn out too bad. Now, you want to do your shoulders, your neck, and anything else you've got going on. So sometimes in previous years, I've put my lanyard, I've, I've been wearing my keys on my around my neck. Sometimes I do my necklace. Today I'm probably not gonna do my necklace. So let's figure out how to do our neckline. So you wanna go along your face cause it is gonna match up, it is there. Then you're gonna go, well, as best you can, along your hair. And then I'm pretty much gonna go straight along the bottom to where my neck is, gonna go around my dress, and I'm gonna end it. Whoops, filled it in with that color. That's not right. So we're gonna fill it in with that actual color. I know, it looks weird. And then with everything else, you just really polyline it all. So if I wanna do my shoulders, I know necks look really funky sometimes. And then I can fill that in with, I'm wearing a black dress, so I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna polyline this little area over here where my dress is also. If you still really don't like your neck, sometimes the neck ends up super funky. So if you wanna adjust your neck later, you can totally do that. And then polyline again with my other shoulder. And then that's pretty much your Google self-portrait. The little things that you can do, one of the things that I do with hair, because this hair looks pretty boring, is I go in and I actually use this scribble tool because I have curly hair. That doesn't look like curly hair in there. So I actually use the scribble tool and I create little like curls. You can create little like curly cues. Yeah, not like that but it will actually create the line to make it smooth. So it'll smooth out your line for you. So if I go like this and I wanna do this, and it's not very nice, and I wanna make little strands in my hair, it makes it all nice and smooth for me. So you can do that. I'm going to control Z all of this because I'm not gonna do that this time. And your Google self-portrait is generally done. Uh, you can make adjustments as needed. I would probably adjust my neck just because this looks kind of funky. So I would probably make it look like an actual neck, really. And then move my hair in a little bit. And delete my dress. But it's up to you. It looks like more like a neck now. The problem with the neck is it's not shaded as you would normally see a neck shaded. So if you look at this and this goes transparent, you can see the different lines that make it a neck. But when you actually fill it in with this color, it doesn't look that way. So next up is the background. Hey guys, last part. You are done with your Google self-portrait. Next up is your background. Now you don't wanna keep this picture background and your picture's actually done. So you can delete that picture right there. Now, I want to be on a beach. So you can either upload a picture that you already have. Usually I search the web and I'm gonna search ocean. And I wanna be in ocean. So I'm gonna click and drag this. Oops, yep, there we go. And then I'm going to move it so that it matches up perfectly with the background. Now I can, I might need to adjust it a little bit, cut this in, oops, no, and all of that, but I want it to match up perfectly with background. Now here's the problem. It covers up me. So what I want to do is I want to right click this and I'm going to say order and send to back. That means that it'll go behind everything else that I've created. 
So if you want to just do it one at a time, you can always say command or control and the down key on the arrows, but you can just send it to back and it'll go right behind. And there's your Google self portrait. If you want to do it one at a time, this is how it ends up looking and you kind of reveal each part as you go. And then the eyelashes all have to go individually. And there's your Google self portrait. There you go. I will do a glasses tutorial and there you go. So hopefully this was a fun project for you. If you want later on, you can adjust to make all of these match up so you don't have any holes between your face, your neck, your hair. It's totally up to you to make whatever adjustments you want to make. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Email me or um, comment if you have any questions and I will see you guys later. All right, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you how to do your glasses. So what you're going to do is you're basically going to polyline around the entire outer frame of your glasses. You're going to ignore the lenses for now and just go around the frame. If I were doing this for real and I was making this one an actual Google self-portrait, I know the eyes look kind of funky on this one, that's because I copied them from the other one. But I would be a lot more precise, but because this is just a tutorial, I just want to show you guys. So now it looks like I'm wearing some super weird glasses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transparent, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to use polyline to go around the inner frames. basically going around my lenses. There's one. And again, as per usual, I would be a lot more specific about this if I were doing my actual portrait. But I just want to make sure you can see that. So here, again, it looks pretty funky. You're going to actually fill in the inner circle with whatever color you're gonna make your face. So I would fill it in here. I can take my face. I can fill that in with my face color. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna take your glasses and make them whatever color your glasses are. Now here's the problem. This has covered up the eyes. So if you hold down shift, you can select them all. And we're gonna say control or command and back until they are behind your eyes, but not behind your face. So that is how you create your glasses. Just remember to use that shift button, hold down shift as you click on all the pieces to put them and then command or control back to put them behind your eyes. All right, hope you enjoyed.